So in today's lab, what we're going to cover is the bone tool again, but this time we're not going to just use it on, let's just say, a stick figure using the brush tool. This time we're going to animate a hinged joint, and we're going to use movie clip symbols to do that. So I'll g just go ahead. I'm just going to show you how to create a really basic just hinged joint animation and I'm gonna just make it sort of like this robot arm so the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna create a circle and I'm gonna name this shoulder okay and I'm gonna convert to symbol and this time I'm gonna make it a movie clip and I'm gonna change it to the shoulder the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to create a square that's my arm upper arm then I'm going to create another circle all on a separate layer and this time I'm going to do my lower arm so the difference between the two styles of using the bone tool are significantly different this way when we're creating this I'm going to bring this underneath and this okay so while I am creating this I have just this sort of basic setup. I'm going to go ahead and convert all these to symbols. And I'm making sure they're movie clip symbols. Press OK. Keyboard shortcut F8. And F8. and they're all movie clip symbols so it should have like a little icon of a, a gear cog kind of thing there so all of these are movie clip symbols now what we're gonna do using the bone tool so I'm gonna select my bone tool I'm gonna start here on the shoulder I'm gonna click drag and release on the next object and you'll see it highlights and then I'm going to go ahead and click drag and release on the next object. I'm going to click drag and release on the final object. And that's it. Now the other thing I want to do is you'll notice this all created um, one, all of these on one layer, which is good. Um, but when we create all the layers for the symbols, we want them to be separate. So this way if we make any adjustments, it's not going to interfere with anything. So. just went ahead and renamed that and I don't need these layers anymore because there's nothing on them and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna select on here and you're gonna notice where the pivot point is each time so for this one it can be in the center and using my pivot point my free transform tool I can adjust the pivot point and this is how you go ahead and change the location of where something rotates as far as the um, its joint position so you'll see so far that both of these joints that are on here are both in such close proximity to another they're basically overlapping one another but you'll notice over here I have this joint and I just pressed undo so if that happens just make sure whoop use the free transform tool and just put it back into place so now I'm gonna go through these and just reposition it so this upper arm the joint will be up here this elbow center this one center okay and now when I click on here it should just pretty much rotate around so what I'm gonna have you guys do is just create uh, three seconds and do about five different poses 
every couple frames or something. This doesn't need to be perfect. Just the fact that you understand how it works is uh, an extremely important lesson. So go ahead and just sort of mess around with it. See what you can come up with. And I'm animating this backwards because I'm not too kind of concerned about it. But as long as it's doing this, that's perfect. So I've got one, two, three, four, five, one more. All right, and I'll play it back. <laughs> so there is my little animation with the bone tool. Now, the bone tool can be tricky, so make sure that you're just clicking, dragging it, and making sure you get it on the next symbol. And then after that, you can go ahead and change the position point no matter where it is. So that makes it a lot easier. And then the other thing, this sometimes glitches it out, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to select on here, modify, arrange, bring to front. And that should bring it up to the front. I'm going to do that here too. Modify, arrange, bring to front. And you'll notice now that, that those arms are above the shoulder joint socket and everything. So I'm going to play this back again. So that worked. Again, if you have parts that explode on here, what you're going to do is just use your free transform tool and just place it back into position for that frame and it should fix it for every other one. So this is what I got. Um, turned out pretty cool. Really, really basic, simple animation of a hinged joint. So this is extremely useful, especially if you're going to do some kind of character animation. You can get a lot of freedom out of this tool um, that allows you to animate much more quickly than, let's just say, hand drawing frame by frame. So I hope you enjoyed this little lab. All I'm looking for is just this particular style of hinge joint. It doesn't need to be super fancy. It just needs to work correctly. So if you have any questions, go ahead and inbox me. And I hope you enjoyed this lab. Hey guys, thanks for watching. Do not forget to give a like and click on subscribe button for more video.